weather is dreary, isn't it? To be fair, my flowers could use the rainfall. should have worn something warmer. People don't tend to come out for flowers when it rains. Perhaps I should try selling door to door. Have a look at my flowers. They will not bite unless you touch their thorns. Have a look at my flowers. They will not bite unless you touch their thorns. Have a look at my flowers. They will not bite unless you touch their thorns. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses? Our national emblem. God save the Queen. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. A familiar spine. Is this what I found in my dustbin? Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes?
Mrs. Fleming, you look particularly lovely today. Is there a reason? Does a woman need a reason to look or feel beautiful? No, but your distant look suggests you seek one man's gaze in particular. Who told you that? Nobody. Merely a keen eye and some simple deduction. Well, I'll kindly ask you to keep your keen eye to yourself, Mr. Holmes. One of these things is not like the other. Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove. And the sap is often toxic. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. I was under the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Well, in a way. What on earth does that mean? I know who he is, of course. But we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog. And most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. So we see each other. Actually, we once met briefly while our dogs played. He was quiet and seemed unsteady as he approached. But since then, we've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would edge such longing onto his face. I don't know anything about this, sorry. Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. What do you make of the flowers in Barnes' shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? Oh, I hope you're right. <laughs> 